I'm here at the Labrador Park. I've been here many many times and um, it's a little bit boring once you've seen it a lot of times and there's a sense of familiarity and so on. So if you come to a place where you want to sketch and you feel that you've seen it so many times that there's no interest anymore, but wait, what's this? There's are chicken running around. So out of a sudden, there's a sense of uh, newness, a, a freshness, just because there are some chickens running around that I have never seen before in a familiar place. There's something new. And I believe this feeling, this sense of newness in a familiar surrounding that you are so familiar with is called Vuja Day. Let's explore this concept a little bit more. Let's go. So Vuja Day is this concept where it is the opposite of Deja Vu. Deja Vu is simply about a new place that you go to but a flashback of nostalgia. Something that is familiar um, when it's a new place. But the concept of Vuja Day is the opposite. It's a familiar place You've been there many times, you've seen it, you've been there, there's a sense of familiarity, but suddenly there's a flash of freshness, newness, and it gives you this feeling that, huh, there's something new about this. That's Vuja Day. So in this video, I want to talk about why it's important for um, artists, creatives to be um, honing the skills of having uh, Vuja Day or at least come close to it uh, even when the surrounding is um, familiar you've been here hundreds of times and uh, there's nothing interesting anymore but yet you can find interest you can be curious you can create a sense of Vuja Day in this, in this place so that Whatever you sketch, whatever you create in your art has a sense of freshness, has a sense of newness to it. Sometimes when you look at something, it could be just, um, you know, looking at, let's say for example, this shrub, you are zooming in, like going in for a macro shot, or maybe taking a step back, looking at a little bit, you know, a wider angle, or even at the whole tree, uh, or shrub in this case. Um, and sometimes it's even looking at the shrub plus the context, right? So those are point of view. But sometimes it's about stooping down and looking at things from very low ground. Sometimes it's about isolating uh, the subject from the surrounding, the context. Sometimes it's about not walking on the path, but walking somewhere else. Like instead of driving this route, you take another route. Or instead of looking at the front of the shop, you look at the back alley of the shop. Uh, it's just taking an alternate um, path, if you like, to what you normally do. And that could give you a sense of Vuja Day. Or like the Impressionist, if you paint at a certain time, change the time, change the season, change, you know, something that gives you a sense of freshness and newness, even though the place could be same old, same old. The key really is to be creative with the way you approach the subject and not just uh, you know, think that creativity is born uh, out of your mother's womb where it doesn't work quite that way, right? Finally, the idea of finding your inner child. After all, creation and creativity, it's about play and oftentimes it's about finding that inner self, the inner child that you were once. So I just want to drop a note to say, look, in the COVID-19 situation, you may not be able to travel, you may not be able to go out of your country, you know, may not even be able to leave the city or home uh, under quarantine and lockdown for some of you. But if you're able to see things in a fresh perspective, 
that gives you impetus for a fresh new sketch, uh, a fresh new work of art. So all I want to say in this short video is cultivate the sense of wonder, of curiosity, and that maybe can spark more Buja Day in your life. So I hope you stay safe wherever you are. This is We Take Out.